Hey there, how's it going? I'm here in my hotel room in Seoul. It is about $40. And so you can see a, a nice double bed here, AC, flat screen TV, which I don't uh, normally end up watching, but I thought that I would just give a little taste of the Korean television there. And then uh, Wi-Fi inside the room, like super fast Wi-Fi, that is amazing. And a big uh, window here with views looking out over Seoul on a nice sunny day. Now I thought that I would show the money of South Korea. It is called the won. Here we have 5,000 won, 1,000 won, again 1,000. The front and back, all of the bills have these sort of stern looking men on them. And then coins, 100, 100, 500, 10, 10, 150. And so the current exchange rate for the South Korean won versus the US dollar is 1,129 South Korean won to one US dollar. And so that means that basically, to simplify things, call it 1,000 to one. And so you just drop the three zeros or the last three digits. And so 5,000 won then is about $5. It's actually a little bit uh, less than $5. 1,000 won is basically a $1 bill, a little bit less than a dollar. And so 500 won then would be 50 cents. 100 won is like a dime, and 10 won is like a penny. All right, going to uh, get out of here and now show you a bit of the uh, streets of Seoul, South Korea. Here we go. That is the Sang Swim Swing Swing Swimmy subway stop, however you say that. And a church here. A hot, hot day. Just going to uh, walk a little around this neighborhood. It's pretty cool. Just capture a little taste of uh, Seoul here. Seoul is of course the capital of South Korea. The metropolitan area is around 20 million people. North Korea is just north of here, a short way, the uh, border. The DMZ, demilitarized zone, 20,000. So that's about 20 bucks for those shirts. Pretty good deal actually. I haven't quite figured out yet if uh, South Korea is cheaper or more expensive than Japan. I just spent a month in Japan. The price of the room is definitely uh, very good. I paid $39 for a capsule hotel in Tokyo and so I'm paying the same price for a private hotel room to myself with a private bathroom. But in general it definitely is not like super cheap. I paid more than $30 for uh, dinner a couple of nights ago. It was a Czech, as in Czechoslovakian uh, pub, and I got a couple of beers and a stew, and it came to like 33 bucks. However, I also ate a lot cheaper than that last night. Here there are some dishes for like four and five dollars. I got a big plate of food with some sides that was just seven dollars last night, so there are definitely uh, good deals to be found. Lots of different things for sale on the streets. 
So I'm going to uh, cross the street and walk back, go to a little market that I found uh, last night down the other direction from my hotel and see if that little market is uh, happening right now. That was in the evening, so I'm not sure if it will still be going middle of the day, but we'll see. And so here you can see the Sangwang Shimni station, that's it. Bit of a tongue twister. As for how much English is spoken here in South Korea, still kind of uh, getting a grasp on that. It's definitely quite uh, variable. I went to a convenience store and the guy just spoke like perfect English. And then that lady at the uh, fruit stand thing didn't speak a word of English. So it seems to be just uh, quite mixed. I get the impression probably the uh, younger people are more likely to speak English as well as of course the more professional people. You know, the uh, lady at the uh, hostel at the reception desk or the hotel in nicer restaurants, etc. That's usually the case, just the people with the better jobs that are more educated are more likely to uh, speak English. Earthquake evacuation zone. This is the Wang Simni subway station, not to be confused with the Seng Wang Simni. And so first impressions of Seoul and South Korea are that it is definitely interesting and very different from Japan. As you may have, uh, you know, noticed compared to all my uh, Japan videos, it's definitely a little bit, you know, scruffier, you could say, a little, a little grittier here. It definitely just has a different uh, vibe, not necessarily negatively, but just definitely not Japan, that's for sure. Different language, of course, different script, different written language. And quite a different culture, which I know very little about at this point. Very, very little. Just been here a couple of days. More fruit. Sangwang Chimney. The stoplight is talking to me. I don't know what it said. Probably wait here and cross at the green man. GoPro camera. Yeah. Yeah. You're, you're from Seoul? Yeah. Cool. My, my, my first first time to Seoul, so just yeah, just seeing seeing the country. I you Namsan Tower. You you know Namsan Tower? Namsan Tower. I don't I don't know. And so she was asking me why I was uh, taking pictures, and then when I explained uh, that I was shooting video, she said, "Well, why in this area?" She seemed to like expect that I would be in a more uh, a touristy area. I haven't seen like a single other, you know, foreign traveler around here. I just found that uh, room on booking.com and it uh, sounded nice and it said the location was good and so I just went for it. Guessing these guys are dinner. Trippy, he just uh, shot his ink. Sea fragrance.
Korean food is definitely strange. The place that I had uh, dinner was somewhere along here last night and just uh, saw something, you know, the uh, pictures in front of the uh, restaurant and the uh, people didn't speak any English. They didn't have a uh, menu with, you know, the pictures on it, but I was able to point to what was outside of the, uh, the restaurant and so they brought me that and it came with all these side dishes, one of which was good and three of which I did not care for. One was kimchi and it's strange. I guess I just haven't uh, warmed up to it yet. And then the other two were even weirder, like completely inedible to me. Looks like that's garlic, a whole truck full of garlic. And I think that I am getting close to that uh, market finally. Here's a supermarket. I'm not sure if those are, I guess they're watermelons. Okay, I'm going to uh, try this little alley down here. Another truck with uh, garlic in the back. And a market here. I think this one might uh, lead into the other one. Looks like it's not as uh, happening in the day. And so here's a sign, the Seoul Central Market. I had no idea that it was like that, you know, famous or whatever of a uh, market. I'd just seen it while uh, walking past and hadn't even stepped in here at the time because I was just kind of walking home and a little tired out from the day. Some strange smells in here. And all kinds of strange looking stuff. Dried layer, I guess that's uh, seaweed. Whatever you call that, like seaweed paper. to come back here in the evening sometime and uh, show the more happening night scene. So there you go, a little taste of soul. And it's definitely got soul, that's for sure. And so this is the seafood and poultry section.